I caught up with Jane Devlin at the 10 mile snow park near Polina Lake as she was tuning up her dogs for the Idaho Sled Dog Challenge. So right now I'm just putting Musher Secret, it's a wax in their paws that keeps all these snowballs from getting stuck so it doesn't feel like you're running on rocks. Um, I prefer to do that than to booties because they, booties tend to come off and they can actually ball up worse. And then they have their nails without the booties to grip. Few breeds are more enthusiastic, energetic, and focused than Siberian Huskies who live to run and pull a sled through the snow. <laughs> no, they love it. They're doing it because they love it. And, uh, and you know, there's the pack mentality. They get you know, real excited. And at a certain age, they kind of tell you I'm done. You know, maybe just use, use me for a ski driver dog or, you know, go on hikes. Most of them go to about nine or 10, the racing. And they live out their life, you know, feed them, feed them the best you, that you, they deserve. Devlin, who owns Snowmouse Kennels near Sun River, is running her team of sled dogs in the Warm Lake Stage Race, one of three events in this year's Idaho Sled Dog Challenge. You're not just standing there, you're working. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're definitely calling the commands. You're, you know, always watching your dogs, make sure everybody's, you know, running healthy, you know. Nobody's injured, you're keeping the speed comfortable. You're often running up hills behind them. As long as those lines are tight and they're working, you're running behind them. You can also be kicking, like, like almost like on a skateboard. You're on one ski, kicking, kind of pedaling, we call it. You're definitely working, and it's a lot of balance because around turns, there are gonna be bumps. Uh, you learn to feel your dogs, just how, how they run. It's always a challenge, especially when you're in a new place you don't know. Running sled dogs is the epitome of understanding, training, and caring for dogs. Devlin describes it as way beyond a hobby, a completely immersive passion. I love about it. I don't care about racing. That's kind of more the human element. You know, the dogs don't care if they're racing. They're, they're just high on the whole experience, the other dogs being out. and uh, That's what I love is the adventure and going to a place that's also supporting your adventure because it can be dangerous, you know. You kind of want to know that there's some trail spotters out there and a few avalanche beacons and things like that. And so all the wonderful volunteers are what you rely on, those people that are out there in the cold, you know, spotting on the trail, helping handle the dogs. You can help Devlin and her dog teams by letting them pass if you encounter them on the ski and snowmobile trails in the backcountry. By all means, stop and admire the amazing sights and sounds of humans and canines working together, having the times of their lives. If you got a loose dog, get it, grab it and get to the side because then the dogs will just go by and try not to let it stare if it's barking and lunging. So just get your dog off the trail. Um, if you're on a snowmobile, try to stay on the right. Most of us train our dogs to stay on the right, but the main thing is slow down around, around corners. You know, you gotta know what's coming. But you know, try to stay to the right, pass slowly. Usually we'll give you a signal. If you're behind, you know, we'll wave you on by. Um, most of the snowmobiles around here are pretty good about slowing down and telling you, hey, there's you know, nobody behind or two behind. So you just gotta communicate. When she's not running her sled dogs, Jane Devlin trains other people's dogs. Her business, Dog Aerobics Training, is based in the Sun River area. She can be reached through the Sun River Vet Clinic. Um, I, wanna, I like to leave with happy dogs and come back with happy dogs. That's always my goal. I want them to, it's, if they're not having a good time, why am I out there, you know? So just making sure that everybody's comfortable and they're enjoying themselves and it's all about dog care. And then you do the next race and you have that trust, right? Okay, we had a good time. Okay, she, she can be our leader. That's okay. <laughs> From the 10 Mile Snow Park, I'm Brooks Snavely for The Great Outdoors.